in the vibrant heart of Sydney in the midst of a sweltering Australian summer. A story unfolds that grips the nation with its chilling narrative. Jesse Baird and Luke Davies, whose lives were a testament to love and vibrant possibility, became the central figures in a harrowing tale of betrayal and murder. Late one evening, their world was shattered in Baird's own home, where evidence of a violent struggle, blood seeping into the wooden floorboards, and a discarded bullet casing from a police-issued firearm hinted at an unimaginable truth. The alleged perpetrator, Beau Lamar Condon, was no ordinary suspect, but a police officer entangled in a web of personal connections with the victims. His frantic endeavours to erase his tracks spanned the expanse of Sydney, from the rental of a nondescript white van to the sinister use of Baird's phone to send deceptive messages long after the men's deaths. As Lamar Condon's meticulously laid plans unravelled, the discovery of the men's belongings in a skip bin near Cronulla and the eventual abandonment of the van painted a grim picture of desperation and deceit. This narrative begins not with the end, but with a reminder of the vibrant lives lived by Baird and Davies, the shocking breach of trust by one of their own, and the relentless pursuit of justice by a community in mourning. Their story, marked by both the joy of their last moments together and the tragedy of their untimely demise, sets the stage for a true crime tale that is as heart-wrenching as it is captivating. Jesse Baird and Luke Davies were young men full of promise and passion, tragically intertwined in a narrative that has captivated and saddened many. Jesse, a former Network 10 presenter and TV natural, was known for his bright future in television, his love for water skiing, motorbike riding, and his involvement in competitive amateur AFL before transitioning to AFL umpiring. His journey had taken him from Melbourne's suburban northeast to Brisbane and then Sydney, where his career and personal life were flourishing. Luke Davies, a Qantas flight attendant, shared Jesse's love for adventure and travel. With only about four months into his dream job that saw him travelling the world, Luke was remembered by friends and colleagues as a kind soul with a cheeky smile and an adored presence. Before joining Qantas, Luke worked with Tiger Airways, and his move to Sydney marked the beginning of a new chapter that promised excitement and growth. Beau Lamar Condon, the alleged perpetrator and Jesse's ex-boyfriend, was a police officer whose past as a celebrity blogger chasing stars significantly contrasts his role in law enforcement. Before his policing career, he had encounters with numerous celebrities, including Taylor Swift, Selena Gomez and Miley Cyrus, to name a few. His transition to a police officer also saw him in the limelight for a tasing incident, demonstrating a complex character whose actions have led to this tragic outcome. His role as a youth engagement officer placed him in frequent contact with students, indicating a community-oriented position within the police force. The relationship between Jesse and Beau, followed by its dissolution and the events leading up to the tragic incident, paints a picture of complicated personal dynamics set against the backdrop of their professional lives. The exact details of their relationship and its end, including any allegations of stalking, remain part of the ongoing investigation and narrative surrounding this case. This story, while filled with promise and potential, has taken a dark turn leaving communities, families and colleagues grappling with the loss and seeking answers. The ongoing investigation and public interest reflect the profound impact of their lives and the tragic circumstances of their deaths. In the quiet of an early Monday morning in Sydney's Paddington, a series of events unfolded that would culminate in a grim discovery and a shocking revelation within the Nessendaus police force. On Thursday, February 15th, Constable Beau Lamar signed out his service weapon, 
a precursor to the tragic events that would soon follow. By 9.50 a.m. on Monday, February 19th, the serene morning was shattered by the sound of gunshots emanating from Jesse Baird's terrace. Minutes later, a distressing 000 call was made from Baird's phone, marking the beginning of a harrowing investigation. By Wednesday, February 21st, the first pieces of a sinister puzzle were found in Cronulla, where bloody clothes and ID belonging to both Jesse Baird and Luke Davies were discovered, hinting at the violence that had occurred. As the police moved to unravel the sequence of events, Lamar embarked on a calculated attempt to cover his tracks. Accompanied by Rennie Fortuna, a former PCYC officer unknowingly entangled in Lamar's desperate journey, they traveled to Bungonia. Fortuna, later revealed to have been unaware of the grim context of their journey, would become a critical piece in understanding Lamar's movements. Lamar's meticulous attempts to dispose of evidence continued as he returned to Moore Park, where he purchased weights before heading back to Bungonia, staying until the early hours. His journey didn't end there. He moved to Newcastle, seeking assistance to clean his van, a critical piece of evidence in the investigation. Finally, on Friday, February 23rd, Lamar surrendered to the police, marking the end of his flight, but the beginning of a deeper investigation into the dark heart of the crime. Meanwhile, the police's focus shifted to Bungonia, a vast expanse where divers and search teams scoured the waters and land for any sign of Baird and Davies. In a chilling tableau of finality, the discovery of their bodies, concealed in surfboard bags and hidden beneath debris, confirmed the worst fears. Constable Beau Lamar Condon was charged with double murder, a stark betrayal of the badge he once wore. His subsequent cooperation with the police led them to the grim discovery near Goulburn, revealing the fate of the two young men who had their lives brutally cut short. In concluding the case of Jesse Baird, Luke Davies and Beau Lamar Condon, it's essential to reflect on the emotional and legal aftermath. This story, rooted in tragedy, betrayal and loss, also underscores the resilience of a community shaken but united in grief and the pursuit of justice. The legal proceedings against Beau Lamar Condon will likely be lengthy and complex, given the nature of the crime and his position as a police officer. This case acts as a reminder of the trust placed in law enforcement and the profound impact when that trust is violated. The case serves as a call for rigorous oversight within the police force, and the importance of mental health and support systems for officers. For the families and friends of Jesse Baird and Luke Davies, the conclusion of this case in court is only a part of their journey. The process of healing and finding closure after such a profound loss is a personal and ongoing challenge. The community's support, along with the dedication of investigators to bring justice for the victims, provides some solace in the face of an irreplaceable loss. As the case concludes legally, it opens broader conversations about safety, trust and how to prevent such tragedies in the future. It also reminds us of the human stories behind the headlines, the vibrant lives of Jesse and Luke, and the profound grief of those they left behind. Their memories cherished by those who knew and loved them become a part of the legacy that this case leaves behind. A reminder of the value of life and the imperative of justice.